Here at ASH 2011 in San Diego, we're delighted to have with us Carlo Gambacorti Passerini, MD. He's a professor of internal medicine at the University of Milano, Bicocca. Excellent. How was that? Was that good? Very Bic good. Bicocca? Good. All right, so you have uh, one of your abstracts, number 455, basutinib versus imatinib in newly diagnosed chronic phase, chronic myeloid leukemia. What were the objectives and the purpose of this study? The purpose of this uh, study that's called BELLA uh, study is to compare uh, imatinib, which is the standard treatment for uh, newly diagnosed CML patient, uh, with this new inhibitor that's called bazutinib or SKI-606. We have now the 24 months update of this uh, study. The study was firstly presented by me last year at ASH, and uh, this year an update at two years has been uh, presented. What were the differences in the two years, in your opinion? Uh, the difference is that uh, with more time, you can have a more mature assessment uh, of the advantage of the study, which mostly consists in uh, a protection of patient on bazutinib from progressing to either accelerated phase or blast crisis compared to patient treated with imatinib, and in a similar protection of this patient to die because of uh, leukemia uh, relapse. Doctor, what do you believe are the clinical implications of the data you've presented here? The implication is uh, that uh, because bazutinib is a more potent drug than imatinib, it put the disease under control faster uh, than imatinib and therefore it reduces the chances of the disease uh, to become resistant and therefore to progress toward the uh, most uh, uh, worrisome and, and dreadful form of accelerated or blast crisis. Uh, having said that, uh, I think that uh, uh, the bazutinib uh, use is definitely not uh, limited to first-line uh, indication, but is also very effective in patients that are failing uh, either imatinib or other TKIs because bazutinib uh, has shown to be a quite uh, a safe uh, drug in terms of uh, serious uh, side effects. It constitutes a very uh, useful alternatives for patients and for physician treating uh, uh, CML patients when other uh, TKIs do not uh, work well or uh, show uh, side effects that the patient cannot tolerate or that can reduce the quality of life of patient. We have to remember that uh, first, uh, uh, first, uh, first line treatment in newly diagnosed CML patient is touching a setting of a patient that uh, at present have a very good prognosis and who can enjoy even a normal life expectancy if they remain in the cytogenetic remission for two years. So this is a setting of patient where you have to consider uh, a normal life expectancy and not uh, uh, the death of the patient as the most likely uh, outcome of the treatment. Based on what you've discussed and presented, what might be new on the horizon for better patient outcomes? Yeah, the, the, what's newer for on, on, on the horizon is, uh, again, that uh, a patient can indeed uh, achieve a cytogenetic remission or a regrow of their normal bone marrow now in a percentage that exceeds 80 percent. And what we know, is that if this uh, remission is lasting at least two years, that put the patient in the normal, uh, the, in the survival curve of the general population, which is probably the first case uh, in a disease that needs medical treatment, in a neoplastic disease that needs medical treatment, uh, and that has never been observed for uh, for other diseases. So that's the. It's quite, a, it's quite, I would say, a bright uh, horizon uh, for this patient. However, it has to be uh, remembered that uh, whatever uh, TKIs will uh, be used as first-line drug, uh, at least 20% of patients will not uh, end the first year of treatment on that TKI, either because of insufficient uh, therapeutic results or because of side effects that will prevent uh, a longer use of that TKI. So that means that uh, having uh, several drugs available, each one with a different uh, uh, toxicity profile, is a very good uh, uh, horizon for this patient because they know that they not only have uh, one very 
active and specific drug, but they, they have several of these drugs, and therefore, even if they do not tolerate or uh, are among the unlucky patients that do not respond well with a certain uh, drug, they know to have uh, uh, alternatives. You can give them added hope. Yes. Right, great. Doctor, thanks for stopping by and, okay, and sharing pleasure. your work with us, and best of luck in the future. Thank you. Okay.